Well, hello and welcome. Glad you could join me. Now, you will have heard me moan about grey squirrels. If you haven't, I'm about to. Now, a lot of people think grey squirrels are, aren't they cute? Let's feed them. But my experience of grey squirrels is that they are aggressive and destructive. Let me show you. Um, here's a couple of clips of trees that they've tried to destroy. And if you look up in there, see the bark been stripped all the way up through there. And that one all the way up. I managed to catch the squirrel in action on this one. But not before it done all that damage. And here's a space where they did destroy trees. And they can do it overnight. Literally overnight. In here was an acer that probably was the same height as that magnolia. And the squirrels overnight the squirrels just ripped all the bark off. What they do is they grab the bark, they somehow they peel at the bark and they just peel all the bark off. Now once a tree has lost all its bark all the way round it will die eventually. Now if you have a look here, um, let me see now, let's see, uh, Oh, here you go. Here's one. See this hanging down here? There, there's a case in point. See, the squirrel has ripped that off. What they do is they grab the new shoots and they rip them off. So if you look up, you can see a number of things hanging down where they've done it. So we have devised a brilliant method of stopping them. It's obviously working because I'm, I can't find as many dead bits <laughs> as they could do. So basically, if you want to protect your trees from squirrels, this is a walnut tree. If you want to protect your trees from squirrels, what you have to do is make sure they can't jump here. Jump. What you have to do is make sure they can't jump onto it from anywhere. And the second thing to do is make sure they can't climb up it. So, this is what we do. Now this is a lovely Scotch bonnet mix. What you do is you get a few Scotch bonnets, you cut them up into pieces, put them in a bit of water and simmer them on your cooker and um, have it you need to have enough liquid in so it pervades the liquid so i mean that's probably going to do a couple of a uh, couple of coats and what we're going to do is we're going to paint it on the trunk now make sure you protect your hands your eyes and try not to breathe it in. So what you need to do is reach as high as you can and just paint it on. Start from as high as you can and work your way down. And what you need to do is get to the places that you can get to, but also 
one's ways that they might go along. So if you can do any branches as well as the trunk, uh, it's worth doing them. Like I said, they can kill it overnight, literally overnight. I'm not exaggerating. I've seen it. I've seen it, it's done. And there's nothing worse than you looking after a tree for years. Uh, years. I've seen trees as tall as this go. Yeah, you've looked after it for 20 years or whatever, and it's got to this height, and then a squirrel comes along overnight and kills it. Uh, as you can see, hopefully, is it can it goes all frothy and basically every time you run out of the mixture just do some more i mean it is a very good way uh, another thing you could try and i know this from experience is cinnamon essential oil uh, i i remember once i accidentally got some on my finger and i didn't realize and uh, i put it on my lip and i got to say, it probably stung worse than chilli has ever done. On me, anyway. So that's basically it. Protect your trees from squirrels by painting on chilli. Cinnamon will do it. You could use, could you use cinnamon powder? Don't know. I'm not sure, but I know cinnamon oil is good as well. Uh, maybe you could put it in a spray and spray it. That's another another application method so yeah thanks for watching hope it saves your trees see you next time Ta -da.